Hi there, my name is Sophie Howard. This video is a walkthrough of Masterclass's Mastering the Markets original series. Now, I've just spent a few days watching these training classes delivered by four titans of investing, and I'm really buzzing. I've come away with it with a really good, much better understanding of how the markets work, how investors who are successful over the long term are thinking and behaving. And it was all presented in a really nice, relatable, conversational way. It was inspiring. I feel like I want to invest now. And so I think this course would be worth your time and investment if you're thinking that at some stage in your life, you're going to want to understand how to invest and how to make your money work for you, but also being really aware of the risks and managing that downside and what not to do as much as how to pick the winning stocks. So it's not a sort of a lecture series on stock picking and the mathematics of how to value a stock or anything like that. These are four really experienced people trying to demystify the markets, trying to show a really sound logic to a long term strategy. And that's what I found was really useful. These guys have got $150 billion of other people's money to invest over the years. And so they've had a really long and successful track record, 40 plus years for a couple of them there. So really, really experienced speakers who are both knowledgeable and fantastic presenters. They're not trying to confuse us or sell to us. And that can be really hard if you're going out with some funds to invest and you start talking to fund managers or trying to get your head around some complicated financial products. It's an absolute minefield and there's a lot of incentives there. So I really like that this was really neutral. There was no sales pitch. There was no incentive for them to tell us anything apart from what they've seen that works over the long term. So I feel really... Um, optimistic actually I feel like that anybody who wants to invest can do so sensibly and with management of the downside risk of getting some things wrong because nobody can see the future and so with the combination of you know a value-based approach and diversification and managing the risks I think that anybody who wants to learn about investing would get a really good start by listening to these four sessions so Ray Dalio founded the world's largest hedge fund. Meredith Whitney is a completely different speaker. So she's quite a bit younger and she was working as an analyst. And actually, she must have been a whip sharp analyst. You can just see how she thinks and how she speaks. She's a really, really smart lady. But she picked that that 2008 GFC market crisis was about to just fall over. And she wrote a um, she published a, an article just before it all happened. And um, and then after that, set up her own fund. And then Joel Greenblatt uh, is a value-based investor and um, he's had success, huge, huge success um, and was one of the people that really realised that the internet bubble in the 90s was overvalued and that that was going to pop. And when it burst, he wasn't overexposed there. He'd kept his criteria, his rational investments sort of um, decision criteria and didn't get caught up in all the hype, stayed steady all the people around him took off and, you know, accelerated who'd invested in these Silicon Valley stocks. But when they popped, they came down with a crash and he just kept on growing. And Seth Klarman is another fantastic investor, value based as well. So these aren't speculators. These aren't people, you know, having a punt on a crypto coin or they picked game stock one week and off it went and they were winners. These are people who take decade long views of the markets and are looking to diversify and they're really looking at history and patterns. And that was one of the common threads that was across all four speakers, which I'll talk to a bit more as I conclude my summary. But they certainly all definitely really think that a long term view and managing the risk is far, makes you sleep far better at night and gets you a better financial return than chasing those short term sort of sugar highs that the market sometimes has. So in the sessions, there's four of them. Um, they're sort of 40. Uh, 30 to 40 minutes each, 30, 45 minutes for Ray. So Ray Dalio's also got a great book called Principles, which I've actually read because maybe you're like me and you really want to learn more about investing, but it's a daunting subject. I've bought Benjamin Graham's book on value investing, which is the principle that Warren Buffett runs all his investments from. And it's a dry old thing. It's a big book and I just didn't get, didn't get through it. But I feel like watching these four sessions 
I've understood the principles of that book and I'm never going to be the person crunching the numbers and picking the individual stocks. But if I put the work in, I'd know what to do. And if I want to work with an investment manager or put money into a fund, I would have an understanding now of how those funds or investment managers, what kind of stocks they're choosing and how they're balancing that portfolio. And I can then choose my own risk profile and my own sort of time frames that I want to see that fund perform over. So um, the four speakers are fantastic. You know, the production quality, as always, is extremely high. Um, they tell great relatable stories. Ray Dalio in particular is very funny. He talks about the time he punched his boss and he he has really relatable stories. He was working with one client who had chicken farms and he also had McDonald's as a client who had been worried about the price of chicken as a cost in their supply chain. And, you know, he's, he's just been hands on throughout decades of, you know, the biggest companies and had a very privileged inside view into these public companies. And so um, the... The thing that a lot of these speakers said, in fact, all four of them, was um, that these cycles just keep repeating themselves in history. And so to take a real interest in history and world events really positions you better for reading what the market's going to do next. So nobody can see the future, but there are certain drivers of the economy that will affect different companies. So you really need to work with somebody if they're investing funds on your behalf who's doing that really disciplined look inside the individual companies inside that sector to really be confident that they're putting their money in a company that's well set up with a good management team with good earnings and the discipline is really around that value-based investing not speculation but paying on uh, paying your money into a fund where the stocks being bought with that fund are producing value. So that's what Warren Buffett does. That's what all four of these investors are all about value-based investing. So it's too big a subject for them to teach how to be a value-based investor, but value-based investing is what you will really come away with as a a really clear sort of winning long-term strategy for you. So um, some of the things I really liked about this was there were lots of case studies and real stories. You could almost feel the drama of Meredith Whitney realising that the GFC um, events were all about to unfold and she called it and how she was sort of really putting herself out there publishing this article that, you know, was uh, about to, you know, it went out just before the big crash happened. Um, They're all very well educated speakers. And so um, I know Joel Greenblatt's got a very sort of mathematical mind. Um, Ray Dalio loves history. He loves sort of the long term. You know, he's studied the oil shock and what in the 70s and what that did to the markets, you know, how governments react, how the markets react. And you really have to study some of those long term patterns if you're going to be investing so much of other people's money to be making smart choices on which stocks are going to perform well into the future. Um, One other thing that they all had in common was um, the need for diversity in your portfolio. So um, even though it wouldn't be you necessarily having watched this, choosing which stocks to invest in, it would give you a really good grounding in investment principles so that when you're investing with a fund manager or putting together your portfolio of investments, it would have that managed sort of downside of the risk side covered as well as the long-term view to catch all that upside of what the market's doing. Now, all four of them are very disciplined. These guys, I can just tell every decision they make, they're very analytical. There's no kind of gut feel. These are database decisions. They're not necessarily mathematicians, but it's all about data and analysis and seeing the performance. And they even talk about things like in Moneyball, um, you know, you, it's the same as with um, sports teams picking athletes. You know, there can be some really charismatic player and the crowds love them and they put on a great show. But actually, what are the stats of that player? How many, you know, goals are they getting or, you know, whatever the sport is, you know, what are the stats showing? So take they all take the emotion out of their investment decisions. They all have a very long term view and they're very patient. And they also look back in history as well as trying to do their best job of looking forward as to what's coming down the pipeline. So all four speakers uh, were very congruent. There wasn't sort of a different viewpoint of what was the best way to invest. They all had a very um, nice conversational way. They assumed that you were new to investing. There was no technical jargon that you couldn't follow. So I think if you were looking to invest in the future, 
um, or interested in getting into the industry, I think it would be a really good start. If you ever wanted to be an analyst in this industry, um, Meredith Whitney's somebody you'd want to watch and learn from because she basically took on a, a Wall Street man's job in a man's world and she really had to work hard at the time in her career when she started to get up to the top levels and, and eventually go out on her own. So she's um, just an analyst through and through um, and has her own fund now, but just totally my amazing brain. Um, and um, they are all... Um, really positive about um, having confidence in the markets you know they'll all go up they'll all go down but over time those um, winning stocks will just keep going up and so I think the people who would get value out of this are people looking to invest in the future and certainly anyone looking to do well in life somebody ambitious somebody earning well or looking to earn well um, and wanting to retire in a nice secure financial position with you know ongoing income and security these are things you probably want to know about I can't think of anybody who would not benefit from understanding more about how the stock market works and especially I think the fact that these four speakers are so experienced yet talking to you in a very personal way as if they're talking to you face to face it doesn't feel like a pitch and often if you're trying to learn about investment you've got a fund manager or somebody at a bank or some financial institution some broker trying to sell you a product and so they're really biased they're on commission they're on management fees it might be in their favor to confuse and bamboozle you as to how this fund works or to make them sound cleverer than they are or that you can't lose and so while there's a lot of regulation in the industry they're still selling and uh and what I really like about this course, well, it's actually a series, not a course. Um, I think it would be really worthwhile for you if you think you're going to be investing yourself in the future or working with investors. Um, and also thinking carefully about your long term management of your own wealth as you you know, advance through life in a, in a position where you could invest or need to park your money up in a safe place where it's going to grow, not depreciate. No cash under the mattress, but, you know, really working with the upside of markets, but with some base knowledge. So. I really, really enjoyed it. I really would recommend it. I took pages of notes. I'd love to spend longer on this video. One, two, three, four, five, six pages of very small notes I was taking as I was watching and listening to this. And um, it was fantastic. So these are really smart, highly educated individuals. They seem to all go to Harvard and, you know, top business schools, maths degrees, um, you know, really data driven. Um, but very personable, very professional and at the stage of their careers where they can afford to be really generous with their strategies, there's no secret hacks, they are sharing a long term successful strategy that will take people through decades, not just, you know, the next little spike or dip. So I hope that was uh, a useful bit of feedback for you. If, I think if um, you're interested in investing, um, whatever level you're at, it's really nice to have access to such senior and incredibly successful people who are just sharing kind of in an unfiltered way just their view of um, how to approach investing as a as a serious undertaking because you don't want to get it wrong you don't want to take the wrong advice from the wrong people or put your money into the wrong stocks or or lose it you really want to know what you're doing here so very important subject delivered to you in some really high quality training by some of the best people in the industry and I really think you'll enjoy it as well as get a lot of great learning out of it so um, I totally think it's worth it and in conclusion if you're on the fence or think that you might be looking to invest in the future or just want to be more knowledgeable about how markets work then this masterclass original series will be of great value to you and possibly a great investment to make in yourself.